the Bushland Uniform Irrigated Variety Trial. This trial is part of our statewide uniform variety trial network where we are looking at a uniform set of wheat varieties across different management and environmental conditions. In our Texas High Plains trial, we have 36 different varieties at seven different locations that are both irrigated and dry land. And we do like to consider both the management and the environmental conditions, which is why we have multiple locations and we look at the varieties across multiple years as well. As we look at our production this year, we have come into a season where we have had very dry winter conditions, a lack of winter precipitation, as well as limited spring precipitation. We've also had above average spring temperatures, which has really resulted in water stress as well as driving the development of this year's wheat crop. As we look at the variety performance, as I mentioned, we consider multiple years, and that is how we determine our picks list. The picks list is a set of varieties that we look at not just the yield potential, but also the disease and insect package, so that we can really consider what varieties would give producers the utmost yield potential under adverse environmental conditions. When we make our picks list, we do consider the production environment. So we do have lists specifically for dry land, limited irrigated, and irrigated conditions. For our limited irrigated conditions, we have TAM 112, TAM 113, TAM 114, Cropland 7869, Syngenta's Monument, and Westbred's Winterhawk. In addition to considering the picks list and those varieties that we would pick if we were going to plant them on our own farms, we also do include a watch list. And those are varieties that we have not had the chance to look at across the variety trial network for three years, but they do have the potential to perform very well in each specific geographic region. This year we have TAM 115 and TAM 205, which are both new 2019 releases from the Texas A&M Breeding Program. TAM 112 was a 2005 release from the Texas A&M Breeding Program. It has remained a top variety in Texas because of its consistent performance, as well as its resistance to the green bug and wheat curl mite, which does give it resistance to wheat streak mosaic virus. It is currently the number three variety across the state of Texas. It does have a very good forage production and grain yield potential under both dry land and limited irrigated conditions because of its known drought tolerance. TAM 113 is a 2010 release from the Texas A&M Breeding Program. It is a variety that has very good forage production as well as grain production, which makes it a good dual purpose variety. It is moderately resistant to stripe and leaf rust, and it is a variety that is known to emerge well under stress, which makes it a good variety for dry land as well as limited irrigated acres. It is one of the earlier varieties to first hollow stem, so it is a variety that if a farmer is using it for a dual purpose system, he does need to be out observing the maturity in late winter to ensure the yield potential is not lost due to grazing. TAM 114 is a 2014 release from the Texas A&M Breeding Program. This is a variety that does have 111 as a parent, and because of its high yield potential, as well as very good adaptability to grazing and its good disease package, this is now the number one variety across the state of Texas. It does maintain yield under heavy grazing. Um, it also has a very um, high tillering potential, which gives it that fall forage production, as well as ability to be a good variety that's positioned for our wheat lidge or wheat silage acres across the Texas High Plains. It does have an improved least disease package from uh, 111, um, although it is moderately susceptible to the wheat streak mosaic virus. It is resistant to stripe and leaf rust. It is also known to have very good straw strength which does make it a variety that's well positioned for our irrigated acres with high input systems with regards to fertility and water. Crop 
Dublin 7869 is a variety that we have looked at for four years in our uniform variety trials. This was actually released in 2018, the first year we evaluated it as an experimental. It is one that's well positioned for the Texas High Plains. Um, it is a later maturing variety, which does give it a good place on uh, grazed acres. Also, as it also gives it potential to withstand some of our later freezes. It is tolerant of stripe and stem and leaf rust, and it has good straw strength. Okay, so SY Monument was a 2014 release from AgriPro. It is one that has done very well in Texas High Plains due to its drought tolerance. It is resistant to leaf and stripe rust. It is only tolerated uh, to limited grazing. It is known for having excellent milling and baking properties. Winterhawk is a variety that was released in 2007 from Westbred. It is a variety that has been well positioned for the High Plains because of its drought tolerance. It's also good for dual purpose systems with heavy grazing because it does have good fall forage production and good grain recovery. It has intermediate stripe rust resistance and it is susceptible to leaf rust. It's also moderately susceptible to wheat streak mosaic virus. TAM 115 is a brand new 2019 variety from the Texas A&M breeding program. This is a variety that is on our picks watch list just because we have not had the ability to evaluate this variety as extensively as some of the other varieties. It is a dual purpose variety positioned for the high plains. It's resistant to leaf and stem rust as well as the wheat curl mite. When we consider the time to first hollow stem, this variety is comparable to TAM 112. It also is known for having good drought tolerance as well as good milling and baking properties. Okay. TAM 205 is another 2019 release from the Texas A&M Breeding Program. It is a variety um, that is also a dual purpose variety with good fall forage production. This variety is on our picks watch list. It is resistant to leaf rust as well as stripe rust and stem rust. It's also resistant to the wheat curl mite and it's resistant to wheat streak mosaic virus. It's also a variety that is known for having good test weights as well as good baking properties.